thank you. God bless you. God bless you. I just want to welcome everyone. And welcome you all. Thank you for honoring me. Thank you for coming. Honoring God. Honoring me. Thank you for honoring me. And thank you for being here. Thank you, thanks a lot. I remember the conversation I had with you two years ago when I was going to break this vision. And God took me in the spirit to one of the songs that she sang and released in her album, Flying High. And I walked up to her and I said to her, why did you sing that song? Why did you release that song? And she gave me a background of what she was going through and how God planted that song in her spirit. And she said to me, girl, you go, you're going to fly high. So I just want to thank you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your love. Thank you for always, always, always being there. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. I'd like to welcome everyone to the house. Um, Reverend Annet, you're welcome. Uh, Apostle Shani, all the way from Netherlands, you're welcome. Pastor Emmanuel Apiaki, you're welcome. Reverend Annet, you're welcome. Pastor Mara, you're welcome. God bless you. Uh, my darling Ruba, you're welcome. Um, Deborah, you're welcome. Thank you for being there. Thank you so much. Thank you, Pastor Carrie. Thank you, Pastor John. Thank you so much. Thank you, Bernice. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you, Joy. Thank you, my sisters. You never left me. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to obviously welcome the next speaker. This is a woman that I respect and um, love. You know, even when I didn't even know how to hold a microphone, when we started out in ministry, you know, she's always been there with us. She's always supported us. She's always encouraged us. You know, from a distance, she's encouraged me so much. When I used to be so intimidated, like, oh my God, I can't stand out there. I watch her preach and I'm like, my God, she's on fire. You know, how does she do it? How does she deliver the word? You know, but through the, through the years, she's been um, a total strength for myself and my husband. And um, when I was thinking about this program, God said to me, you go back to the ones you know who knew you when you couldn't even do anything. That they can see what I'm doing in your life. That they can see and acknowledge that the words that are sold, their encouragement, their seeds and everything did not go in vain. But this is just to encourage everyone here, every preacher in the house. If you're speaking words into the lives of people, Understand that you are sowing a seed. You know, you don't have to be a preacher to sow a seed. Once you speak that word, the day of manifestation will come. Amen. So we do. So much love in my heart. We are going to stage Bradbury, Hannes, Isibo. Be the same. Moving this place. 
get to sing I love I know sometimes people look at it he calls himself a born again believer look at him his children are on drugs uh, take that child to the Lord and say God my son is on drugs but I love Listen, you may have a child every single day the school wants to see you because he's done it again. Woo! Listen, I'm a parent, I'm, I'm a grandma, grandma with five grandchildren I have. So I know what I'm talking about. Every two boys, one girl I have. Every time I'm in the school, but I knew how to go to God and say, I will. You know why? Because the word of God says to me that the seed of the righteous, what did he say? He will deliver. Hey! Yeah. Yeah, the devil said, hey, I am too blessed. I am too blessed. I am too blessed to be sorry for myself. I am too blessed to be sorry for my child. Hey. recognize the fact that I am too blessed to sit there and be sorry for myself when I can go to him and say I worship you the devil is trying to mess with my sin you said in your word that the seed of the righteous you will deliver it is not my job to deliver my child it is your responsibility you said my seed you I may not, but it's okay. It's okay. The seed of the righteous of the Lord. And then he said, He said, If my way pleases him, he will make my enemies to be at peace. So my job, my responsibility is to please him. I, I don't have to worry about my enemies. Listen, believers, if you're still praying, Holy Ghost fire killing. Holy Ghost fire destroying. Please stop that. Please God. Thank you, woman of God. Thank you, ministers in the house. 
Your own ministers. Thank you, thank you. The only difference between you and I is I hold the microphone. Amen. Praise God. I thank you all for coming to listen to this woman, to this grandmother. Amen. Amen. Bless God. I thank you and I pray that God will bless your hearts and uh, God will reveal himself. It's not about me. I said, God, you know what? Do you. I said, you just have to do you. I said, I may have prepared what I want to minister, but you know what, God, if you want to flow, feel free. I'm not going to stop the Holy Spirit from doing what he has to do. Praise God. So I pray that the word of God will enrich and bless your heart. Amen? Let's go to the scripture. Now, the theme of this conference is blessed, the blessed woman, isn't it? Yeah? I'm going to try my best not to limit being blessed to everything you acquire. Your education, your money, and I'm going to try my best. That's part of it. But I'm going to try my best to take it to another level where we cannot see that. You know what? Being blessed really is not about what you have. Amen? Amen. Amen. It's about the relationship. It's not about what you have. Because you know why? The Bible says, seek first the kingdom of God and God's righteousness. In other words, being right standing with God. Everything is addition. So you don't seek the addition. You seek God. What is God about? What does he want me to do? How does he want me to do it? Amen? We seek the kingdom of God first. And everything else God takes care of. But unfortunately, we have so many believers who are seeking the addition. So we go to this ministry, ministry where or meet of some not just me, I'm not saying a particular ministry. Then we have all this faith. Father, don't give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me a house, give me a car, give me, 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 give me. But what do you want to do? I want God to give me. What do you want to give me? What do you want to do for God? I want Him to give me first. Give me, give me, give me, give me. You see what God is saying? This sin, seek me. What you're concerning yourself with, you know what? Seek me. You know what I mean? Have that relationship with me. Where you can call Abba Father anytime, any day. And you see what I mean? God wants that relationship with us. Amen? Amen. So I'm going to ask you guys here. Maybe I already answered, but I'm still going to ask you anyways. If I ask everyone or anyone here uh, what it means to be blessed, who is blessed, what would you be saying to me, please? How, how many people are blessed here? Yes. All right, please tell me why you think or you know you're blessed. Amen. Amen. That's it. I'm blessed because I'm born again. You're blessed because you're born again. You're not blessed because you're religious. You're not blessed because you go to church. Amen. You're blessed because you know God and you know that He is your source. Yes. Praise God. You are blessed because you know that God is your source. Praise God. That's the reason why you are blessed. You always have that relationship. You always thrive to go to God in any situation. That's how you know you are blessed. Praise God. You are not blessed by choice. You didn't wake up one and say, yeah, today I'm blessed. God made it happen. God ordained it to be so in your life. Praise God. You're wondering, what's what, what she talking about? God ordained the blessing even before you got here. He already pronounced it on you. If you think I'm lying, open your Bible to the book of Genesis. Genesis chapter 1. Hallelujah. Being blessed is being empowered for greatness. I am blessed because I have been, I've been empowered for greatness. I am blessed because I've been empowered to empower others. Amen? Amen. I'm not blessed because I woke up, I look good, I have all the degrees, so yes, you're blessed. Amen? Amen. Genesis chapter 1, 26. I'm going to do 26 today just to give you a brief, um, a brief of what I'm trying to say to you. And God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. In other words, let us make a people that have the same personality as us. Are you following me? And that personality is holiness, righteousness, godliness, wisdom, you name it. Let us make a people who will rule and reign on this earth like us in heaven. Are you following me? 
And then he continues, and let them have dominion over all God has created. So God created man in his own image, and his image created him male and female, and God blessed them. Even before the man and the woman was born, God pronounced blessing on them. But first, he said, dominion. You have to know how to walk in dominion. You have to know how to use the power that God has given you. You know that when the enemy shows up to mess with your marriage, you don't pick up and say, Hey, Pastor, that will come, come, come. The enemy is fighting my marriage. What do you do? You take charge. You say, Devil, the Bible says, Whatever God has joined together, let no one put us on. You are about to mess with my marriage. You take charge. As I said earlier, when the enemy mess with your child, dominion, you walk in the power and in the authority that God made available to you. Amen? You open your mouth and begin to shout at those capabilities. Lord, you said in your word, no weapon formed against my child will prosper. That's how to walk in dominion. If you can manage walking in dominion, you are blessed. Are you following me? Walking in dominion. It's not, it's not surprising that God didn't say, let us make one that image and bless them. He said, keep power first. You need the power to operate. Because if you can't operate in dominion, in the power that God made available to you, you cannot live a blessed life. That takes me to the scripture of Isaiah 170, when the Bible says, On Mount Zion, which is the church, shall be what? Deliverance. And then holiness. Then what? You possess. Are you, am I making sense? First, on Mount Zion, which is the church of Jesus Christ, shall be deliverance, holiness. Then you possess. If you don't have now, we want to possess. When possession doesn't work, we look for deliverance. Then we have all these prophets telling us all kinds of stuff. I don't know about you, but listen, the Bible says, it's like God will not do a thing except the first tell his prophet. He must tell his child. So if you're going to come to me as a prophet, make sure what you're going to tell me, God already given me an idea. So you are confirming to me. Then I know you're hearing from God. Don't come to me as a prophet. Oh, you know, there's two people here. The color of your word is white. Come on. Come on. How many of you have white word in your house? You see, well, don't come to me with, there's somebody here, your name begins with S. There's bound to be someone. You see what I mean? Don't tell me that. Yes, you see what I mean? You see, you see what I mean? There's a lady here from there's a lady here from Amsterdam. No, I don't know how I don't I, you see what I mean? In those days, in the Bible days, they see us, they are hidden. You look for them. Prophets that speaks for God. You seek for them. You look for them with your stuff and they help you out. But now they are not see us anymore. They all talk, 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 say anymore. No more see us. That brings what direct from God. I'm not saying they are not they are prophets. But you have to know the word of God for yourself. When you know God for yourself, when no one can mess you up. That's how you know you are blessed. Because when you have God, which is the word, in the beginning was the word. When you have the word of God, you are blessed beyond measure. And no one can play you up. No one can tell you rubbish. Are you following what I'm trying to say to you? And then God said, be fruitful in every aspect of your life. Because you are blessed, you are going to be fruitful. So being blessed, please, it's not how many degrees you have. It's not how many, whether you are the mind. It's not about what you acquire. It's about that connection. And God wants that connection from us. Amen? Amen. Because he, we, he created us in his image and in his likeness. Praise God. So therefore, a blessed woman sees God as your source and takes it all to God. You take everything to God. You take it all to God. Don't think God is not complicated. It's not... It's, it's not big English. You, you, you listen to some it's like, God is big, big, big words. It's easy. He understands, I love you. You don't have to give me 20 minutes of I love you. Amen? God is not complicated. We human beings, we are so complicated, we try to make him 
being complicated. You see what I mean? It's nice and easy. Take it all to God, women. Amen. It doesn't matter what you're going through. There's nothing, nothing on this bed that hasn't been experienced before. And God is not frightened by your situation. God is not nervous. Even if you committed the same sin, the same sin today and tomorrow and day after, he's not frightened. He's not nervous in heaven. Just go to him. I messed up once again. Just like David, I messed up. I've come to you again to sing there. Yeah, I love you. I've come to you to sing. You see what I mean? David was so blessed. I love David. I love David so much. He was so blessed that even when the enemy were messing with him, what did he do? In Psalm 23, he said, Father God, you are my shepherd. Conversation. You know you are my shepherd. Um, I, I do not want anything because I'm connected to you. But in prayer, I love so much. He said, God is my shepherd, I shall know what. He made a table. God didn't, David didn't ask God to kill all his enemy so that they don't see what I'm eating. Keep them alive. Let them see me. Amen. Those who say, ah, 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 Pastor Dabo, what's happening to your ministry? Don't pray to God to, to, to blind you. No, no, no. Say, God, keep them alive. Hallelujah. Spread the table before. He says, spread the table. When you are blessed, that's how you operate. When you are blessed, you don't ask God to kill your enemies. You say, Father God, in the face of those who say, ah, 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 let us see who will save you. Spread the table. Let them see. That what I used to be, I'm not that person anymore. Because I have this connection with you. Are you following me, believers? So don't get nervous. That's not license to sin, but know how to go back to God. David said, prepare a table before me in the presence of those who hate me. In the presence of those who are talking stuff behind me. In the presence of those who are wondering, where is my next meal coming from? Prepare a table before me. Let them see. They saw me when I was low. Let them see me now that I'm dying in this big table. It don't kill them. Are you following me? When you are blessed, that's how you operate. That's how you walk with God. Because you are confident in your God. Amen? You have so much faith in your God. You are so much confident in your God. No matter how low, keep going. Keep going. Because I know my Redeemer lives. Yes. Keep going. Even if you started with 50 and you ended up with two members. Thank God. You see, you see, you see I, I don't know. I, don't, I, see, I told you, I said, God is not confused. Yeah. It's not frightened. It's not, you know what I mean? He knew there were going to be two or three churches that would be two or three. So he said, Where two or three are gathered? I'm there. Yeah. You see what I mean? It's not confused. This is the end from the beginning. He knows that we're going to have stuff. We're going to have situations where. Things happen and you end up with two or three. Praise God. You see what I mean? In you. It didn't say when 112 or two million are gathered. It said when, when two or three are gathered in my name. He said that there. So be encouraged, ministers. If you end up with two or three, your husband, yourself, and your kids, do church. You see, I, I, when, I, when, I, when, last week I was, in, I was in Athens last week and you know, you go to a ministry, ministry sometimes it got to few people and the minister is all. I said, I, I sense this in the spirit. I said, no, no, God, whether it's just you and your wife and your twin boys, I'm happy. Yeah, come on. I'm going gonna, gonna to preach like I'm preaching to a thousand people or to two, two thousand people. You see what I mean? I have ministers to thousands, but I'm still going to minister to two or three. I got it. Like because that's what God says. I'm not nervous. It doesn't bother me. I just say, you know what, God? It's only these two or three people you want to be here today. So they're going to be blessed. I'm not going to withhold anything from them. I'm not going to preach that kind of way. It's only two. Let me just tell them a story. Let me tell them in the beginning. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to minister. God bless you. I'm going to round up now. The, the, the story of Anna. I'm going to try and rush it here. Yeah? In the Bible, the Bible says she was barren. She didn't have no child. Then the Bible says her adversary mocked her sore. When you are mocked sore, you don't know what to do. They finish you. They describe you. They mess you are well messed up. But there's something about this remarkable woman. She didn't go to her adversary and go, 
How dare you speak to me like that? Who do you think you are? You know what? She didn't do that. She said, thank you for the information. Thank you for reminding me that I don't have a child. And she went to the source. She knelt down and began to talk to God. Sometimes you're talking to God. You've been through so much. You're murmuring. You're talking to God. Nobody next to you understands what you're talking about. Your heart is highly connected to God. She was doing. She was desperate. You are desperate sometimes for your Samuel. She knelt down and said, Father God. She didn't go to God and say, my adversary mocked me so. Do something to this. So you know what, God? Whatever I'm going through is with you. I am coming to you to bless me. I'm coming to you to release me. I'm coming to you to lift me up. I'm coming to you to put a smile on my face. I'm coming to you to put a testimony in my mouth. Hallelujah. She went to God. Thank you all to God, women. When you are blessed, that's how you operate. You have no time for nonsense. You have no time for foolishness. When you are blessed, because God pronounced it on you. It's not of your own making. God pronounced the blessing on you already. You already own it. Why do you fight for what you already own? I already own it. All you have to do is recognize to God. So if you're thinking here today that well, I'm blessed because I have a fantastic job. No, 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 no. no, no. I am in a profession where I work, I'm a therapist. I work with people who have fantastic jobs. They still come to see me. You see what I mean? It's not enough. They still come to see me with other stuff. You see what I'm trying to say to you? So unless you have, when you have Jesus, you understand that you are blessed. You walk blessed. You don't have food, I am blessed. I don't have children yet, I am blessed. I don't have a husband yet, I am blessed. I don't have a wife yet. I am blessed. I don't have a job yet. I am blessed. I don't know where the next food is coming from. I am blessed. Somebody is messing. My manager is messing with my job. I am still blessed. Because if that job goes, it means God has something else for me. Are you following me? Understand that you are blessed. Own it. I am blessed. And I am blessed. And I'm going to walk blessed regardless of what the enemy throws at me. Praise God. Hallelujah. I think my time is up. Amen. There's so much more. Do you know what? We meet again. I can't be at last time. At least once in two years I show up. Amen. We'll do the rest next time. I just want you to understand that the blessing, the word blessing is already yours because you are connected to God. It's already yours. If anyone says to you, you are blessed. If anyone says, how are you? I don't say I'm fine. I am blessed and highly favored. That's how I respond to you. Because I know it. I may not look it. What I'm going to right now may not be in sync with what I'm experiencing, with what, with what God says in His Word, but I still know I'm blessed. God says I'm blessed. I may not look blessed. Whatever interpretation, bless, I mean, whatever the interpretation of everybody regarding blessing, that's fine. I still know I'm blessed. When I carry on knowing, I carry on believing, and I carry on walking, at some point, God was predicted before me. Hallelujah. Praise God. So don't give up on that dream. Don't give up on that desire. It may not happen this year. Keep believing it. Keep knowing it. Keep owning it. Don't give up. Amen? Sometimes you start something and people say to you, it's not going to work. I know somebody who did it. It didn't work. Say to them, no, 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 I'm different. My approach is different because I've got Jesus on my side. Amen? My approach is different because I've got Jesus on my side, so it's going to work for me. I know it and I believe it. Amen? So women, men, please don't give up. I have so many reasons to give up, but I keep coming back to God. Even if I wanted to give up, it's not going to happen. I've come too far. I put my hand so deep in the cloud, I can't look back. Even if I mess up, I still can't look back. You see what I mean? Even if, I, if I'm glued in rubbish, I still can find my way out. You see what I mean? Back to my first love. Amen? Amen. So don't give up. Let everyone say to you, it's not going to work. You know what you know. Praise God. God bless you as you are patiently listening to me in Jesus. I hope you are being blessed. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Do you want this or not? Do you want it? Oh, oh okay. Praise God. Are you sure? No, 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 no. I'm done. Do you want it?
believe you're blessed. You believe you're blessed. You just rise to your feet. Can you rise to your feet? And can you say, I am blessed? I am blessed. Because I'm a child of a king. I am blessed. Because he saves it. I am blessed. Because he hollers my word. I am blessed. Because he watches over his word to perform it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you for your word that we have heard. And Father, we thank you for you, the woman of God, who has spoken to us, Lord. Father, we pray. Can you stretch your hands towards us, um, Reverend? Father, we pray for our God. Father, we ask for more wisdom, Lord. We ask for more understanding of who she is, oh God, with you. Father, we ask for